Hi, this is Graham from Genoms Astro. A little while ago I made a video comparing these two scopes, the Skymax 127 and the Celestron C90. And I expected the Skymax to produce a significantly better result than the smaller scope. I was looking at Jupiter at the time and I didn't really see a huge amount of difference. Now, in the intervening period, I have spent more time using the 127 and I have begun to see that it can deliver better results than the small Mac. But now we've got another opportunity to do a back-to-back -back comparison. So now I'm going to look at Mars. Mars is about a month past opposition. It's high in the sky in the evening and it's probably the last point for me when it presents a tempting target. So let's get the two scopes rigged up. We're going to compare like for like, so the same mount, the same Barlow, same ADC and same night and let's see what difference that bit of aperture makes. Okay so following the process I have in my other recent Mars videos I'm using fire capture and I'm capturing the data in RAW to save space on the disk. So this is a section of the video from the C90. Uh, so clearly you can see the grid because we're uh, taking the video now and recording it in RAW format so this grid will disappear when we um, process the file. And yeah, you can already see some detail, which I'm quite happy with. Mars is about probably 30 degrees above the horizon and the C90 is giving a uh, pretty good view, I'd say. And here's the processed image. So I've taken it through AutoStackert and Registax and that is the result using the C90 25% of 1,000 of 10,000 frames. And then straight away we've moved on to the, uh, the 127 and this is the video using the larger scope. So again you can see a set of detail um, on the planet. The seeing is reasonably good I'd say and we're probably only 15 minutes after taking the uh, couple of shots on the, the C90. And that's the image using the larger scope. So drum roll, I guess we need to compare the two side to side and see if there is an obvious difference. So there you go, C90 at the top and the 127 underneath. And I think probably, as with the Jupiter result, slightly more detail with the larger scope, but not a huge difference. And then just for a bit of fun, uh, just to show how quickly Mars rotates if you're out and about for a couple of hours. I've just got a little video. You can see Sirtis Major coming into view. So for me, there's not a huge amount of difference. The 127 gives slightly more detail, but the C90 acquits itself very well. So perhaps my C90 is particularly sharp and my 127 is not the absolute best scope. But for me, uh, the comparison is useful. It just tells me that on a bright target, the 127 isn't necessarily gonna be a completely uh, like a game changer compared to the smaller Mac. So I hope it's been useful. Um, generally, I try to do comparison videos because I know when I'm shopping for scopes, I like to see these. Uh, if you do, uh, if you'd like to see videos like this, then please uh, press the like button and also subscribe to Genoms Astro. Then hopefully in future, you'll see some more comparisons. Okay? Hope it's been useful. Thanks for watching.